Adaptation Compact is an important um, program of the African Development Bank. And the, I put a, I'll give you a bit of context to this. Uh, we've come a long way when it comes to adaptation, when it comes to adaptation reporting and adaptation assessment. From the days of national communications, second communications, the international program of actions on adaptation, to NAPs, to NDCs, now long-term strategy. The question is always, how do you move from those stratospheric layer of adaptation even to the atmospheric layer of NDCs into something very tangible in terms of investment plans? How do you move away from the notion of what you need to do to what exactly should be done and how it should be done, how it should be financed, and what kind of results you want to get within a short period of time? The attempt in solving that is uh, what Adaptation Compact is all about. Secondly, it's also important to appreciate that most of the work and the reporting on adaptation and climate change in general have been done by the Ministry of Environment. However, when it comes to the finance, which is very critical for the implementation, that's a question at the Ministry of Finance or Treasury of most countries. And then you see this disconnect between the policy framework, the program of actions at the Ministry of Environment, not translating into investment plans, where Ministry of Finance is a gatekeeper for most organizations. So bringing that closer was very important and the adaptation compact, it's, it's basically doing that. So it's investment led, country owned, and very much putting the Ministry of Finance at the leadership of that. The third part of it is just to also be able to understand what quantum of finances do we need within a short period of time? And how do we implement that? Those questions that have not been very clear in previous documents, the adaptation compact brings that closer to countries. And we've taken that forward to start some roundtable discussions with development partners.